Hi guys, today is an exciting day for the runners at the Medibank Run Club. Steve Monaghetti will be joining us for today's run to impart some of his running wisdom on us. Steve is a great asset to the sport and I think we'll all do well taking some advice from this running legend. Great to um, great to have you um, catch up again. How how are you going? Are people going okay? Who's had who's had the perfect preparation? Great, because no, there is no. Actually, I'm saying this now. There is no such thing as a perfect preparation. So, in my whole career, I was never in perfect shape for the race. And the date doesn't move. I might have said this to you before. The date doesn't move, and you always kind of get to the day before or the last week, and you kind of go, oh, gee, I wish I just had a couple more weeks. So we all think like that. So there is no such thing as a perfect preparation. It is the best preparation you can have, and then on the line, it is what it is. So, so as long as you're ticking most boxes, then you're actually going pretty well. The other thing is a lot of training is general training, but you know, there's might be 500 people doing that training program so it's not specific to you so it's always a framework I always say and then you adjust it to suit your lifestyle it doesn't matter what training you do so um, you know you're not going to be uh, able to enjoy it if you don't if you're feeling like it's an imposition rather than enjoyment to get done what you can get done everyone will be different but you'll be on the start line for whatever event it is in the best shape you possibly can. So that's the journey and then on the day things unfold that we can't control. I'm, I'm not gonna to say too much more than that at the moment. So, <laughs> um, so I think we've we got, remember the circuit we did around here. So what we're gonna do is just, just do a lap around just to, for me to have a bit of a look at your, how you're running and your technique. So um, if you've got any technology, don't use it for, for the next 10 minutes, if that's okay. You can measure your distance or whatever if you need to put it on Strava or something. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to call out a number. So we get, we'll start, where's good start, start spot? So where, are you, where do you want to start? So we're going to start here. We're going to do one lap. When you finish, when you come through here after one lap, I'm going to be yelling a number. You need to remember that number. Okay, so it's a concentration test. I'm sure you'll be able to pass it. <laughs> So now we're going to do two laps, exactly the same, just go around twice. Okay, so just in your own time, when you're ready, suck it in, you need your recovery, so two laps. Thank you. 
Okay, so that even running is what gets you over the line. It spares your glycogen. So if you run evenly, if you've trained really well, your preparation is good, and you eat your complex carbohydrates so you've got good glycogen in your system, if you pace yourself, that will get you to cross the, the, the aim is to cross the finish line and have zero glycogen. That's the plan. Okay? Not not at 35k. If you have zero glycogen at 35k, you walk home. That's it, you're done. Okay? And then you don't want any left, you want to be, be, be gone at the end, you know, or just have a little bit left. So that's the idea. Even running is the way to be a good distance runner. Okay? So that is the key. Um, I remember I paced a race in Japan and um, I was pacing and and we were at the technical meeting the night before and, um, and, and we said, oh, what pace do you want? I said, you know, they said, oh, 304 kilometre pace. I said, oh, yeah, that's fine. No worries. And there's a few turns on the course and it kind of goes up and down. We run alongside a lake a little bit, so it's going to be a bit windy. So there's a bit of flexibility in, in the Ks, isn't there? And the Japanese, they go, yeah, 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 you can run 303s or 305s. I'm thinking, wow, the Japanese, they don't mess around. They're very particular. So maybe, you know, when you're going for a run and you might do it on a course you know and it's got K markers. Just try and measure your Ks and just have a look. Because a lot of people will go down and they'll go back and they'll download their Strava and they'll show it to all their friends. <laughs> Isn't it better to have it in real time? You know, so you're looking, it gives you your average for the run, 10K. You know, it shows you ran five minute average for 10K. You might have been doing 430s and then you really slowed down and you ended up running 530s and you're putting on there your average five minutes. But really, you've slowed from 4.30s to 5.30s, so there's something wrong with your training, you know, you're not going well. So whilst the average can give you information, it's more the feedback of what's happening in, in the run, you know. And then sometimes it might be a headwind, you're obviously going to run slower in a headwind. Last year in the Melbourne Marathon, who ran last year's Melbourne Marathon? Oh my God, you poor people. That wind was just horrendous. Okay, so we're ready. So to remember, count your steps. Count your steps and try and get a normal stride. Me, that's how I've always been. I've been trying to shorten it. What were you? Oh, I was 176. Pretty close. But I mean, my stride is shortened. I used when I ran when I was younger. I always ran with a really long stride. Yeah. Right. Thanks for joining us for today's run, Steve. It was a good workout, and I think we all learned something new about pacing and cadence. We look forward to seeing you again just before the Melbourne Marathon in October. In the meantime, we only have a few weeks before race day, so let's all get back out there and do the training. See you later. Let's see what's in the paper. Here the sun. Look at that good looking bunch.